Welcome to Detroit, Michigan. Ford Field as we have a couple of teams colliding here in Motown hoping to hit the right notes and walk away with the victory in the Quick Lane Bowl. Bowl games are not only a reward for how you played in the regular season, but can be a springboard into next year as well. As we'll see the number 24 team in the country, the UCLA Bruins, taking on a team from Conference USA, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. On first down, here comes this offense. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Raven. Looking for a crease. It's Harden. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. I get it that the game is the primary thing about going to a bowl, but there are so many festivities surrounding it. Jesse, what do you remember about something you experienced? There was a lot of pageantry when I think back to the bowl games I played in, and you have functions, you get to visit a brand new city, generally in warm weather, you get to meet the other team, there's some friendly competition. The biggest thing that stands out to me, though, was a street brawl against the Miami Hurricanes, Bourbon Street getting ready for the Sugar Bowl, about 120 feet, hard to forget that. Yeah, and he decides to keep it and makes the right decision. Great job. Keeps the football. Picks up a huge chunk of yards. Nice play by the quarterback. Great decision. The From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Slam. Hand off from the shotgun. Open space at the 25. Touchdown, UCLA! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on offense. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. UCLA will go back to work on offense. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Offense getting set for first down. Back to pass, it's Scott. A strike downfield. Nothing but green ahead. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Bruins! An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. 
Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and then it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special to take the field with your guys one more time, but playing in games that had so much history. Nifty little dance step. At midfield, he's got room. Afterburner's coming. A massive pickup on that one, and they're in business at the 21. This guy is really unique. Top five in the country running the football right now. And I love the way this offense gets him involved. They're able to move him around a little bit. They change up the schemes. But the big key every week, get him the ball, let him go to work. This offense has to be feeling it after that last win, and they'll snap it first and 10 just outside the 20. The back goes in motion. Wants to throw. It's Scott. Throws to the tight end. Soft spot in the middle. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening first and goal from the nine. They might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit them with a big run. Now they hit them with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. With the run on first and goal. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off. And really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive points. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking about? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. That's the end of the quarter, and UCLA has the lead. And that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. Trying to surge it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. UCLA will go back to work on offense. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming. Got a lot of running room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead. And now... When you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. 
D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill. At running back, receiver, tight end, a quarterback making good decisions, it is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Going up top on first down. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do, build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same day. Yeah, this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run, because right now, this offense is having their way. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. From the gun, running back gets to give. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. One thing I've noticed from talking to coaches about their approach to bowl games is how many of them use it as a springboard for next season. They try to focus on developing some of the new guys, maybe, that have joined them for the bowl practices. I mean, you get 15-plus extra practices. You start to play and experience more as young guys. The older guys get a little bit more rest. But, yeah, you're building the future. You're building the foundation. You're working on your technique. And you know what? You also get to have some fun. I think that's important for team building is having fun at your location, doing the different things together to start to build that unity that will make a big difference in the future. Yeah, there's a saying in college football that your freshman year, when you get to bowl season, you're no longer a freshman. A lot of players grow up. You get the extra practices mentally and from a confidence standpoint, you turn the page. I can remember back to my true freshman year. We'll get... And into the end zone. Touchdown, Bruin! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. I mean, the way this team has dominated this game, impressive to say the least. And it's cool now because you're kicking the credit of them so bad, you start to put the backups in and all them get to get in shoes and get to get some playing time, get some... Ready. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also, momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. Looking to pass. It's Scott. Zings it complete to the right. Finds a crease at the 20. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. 
Tennessee's offense is getting a rhythm. They're hard to stop. Already up early. Got a short field. Take advantage of it, too. Get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the run. It's a runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead and coming around you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. On third and short, the power run here. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Well, no real mystery there, and I think this coaching staff has a lot of confidence in their offensive line to get the push needed to give that back just a big enough crease to fall forward and get the first. And it's so hard. My room for error is so small when I'm a defensive line. Like, I got to get off the ball as fast as I can and, and try to get some form of penetration. Just stop that ball from going north-south. They don't do He's loose. He's showing it all. The juice, the jets, the moves, and he's got it down to the 16-yard line. Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating, and you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers, but now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. And the Bruins are rolling down the field. Quarterback on the keeper. Got enough space. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. A lot of times the defense you prepare for all the different athletes and trying to stop everybody. And then you go, oh, wait, I got to stop the guy with the football, too. And you could tell they ran the option. They had a lot of things defended, but they didn't okay, stop the quarterback. He gets the first down and makes a big play. Three, the Bruins two, trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Touchdown, Bruin! And the punishment has been extended. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. Looking for a productive play on first down. Igloo! Igloo! Give to the back. Hard running there. On the move at the 30. Off he goes. He's inside the 40. The 20. Touchdown, UCLA! And the pummeling has started. Love the play call offensively. They knew the defense were crowding a lot of bodies close to the line of scrimmage. And once they were able to get into the second level, all they had to do was make one guy miss and get one good angle. And with the speed that ball carrier has, man, that thing was a sure shot touchdown.
This is what an elite team does. They know they're better, they go out, they take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your unit. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.